right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green, back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Geek Vape, right? You know, Geek Vape's been around for a real long time, and they've made some really good products out there in the vape industry. This is the newest little kit from Geek Vape. It's called the Nova kit. It's mostly aluminum. It's got these resin panel doors. It feels real light. One of the selling points of this R of this RDA of this kit is that it's lightweight. That's what they say on the website. Oh, it's, it's real lightweight. And even with batteries in it, it's still pretty lightweight. Unfortunately, that lightweight kind of, it kind of makes it feel a, just a little bit cheap to me. I would like a little bit more heft with it. But otherwise, it's a pretty banging little kit. It's real quick. It's real responsive. Um, in order to get to know this just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close, as we often do. That's right. Quick short upy closey time. Go now. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick look at this Geek Vape Nova kit, aluminum resin. Geek Vape went ahead and put uh, Grim Green on there, which is always appreciated, but doesn't necessarily make this a better mod. So like I said, full aluminum construction. It's a dual 18650 on the inside, and there's a little notch right up here in the top corner, which is kind of an odd placement. Haven't really seen that before. Notches are usually kind of on the bottom, but because the bottoms are resin, I'm assuming, that's why they put the notch up here but regardless there's a little notch right here you can take the battery door off put your 18650s in it says nova box and it uses the as 200 chip on the inside which we'll talk about when we get back out to normal view but it's a real fast responsive real snappy chip i do really like that the doors are full aluminum with just a resin panel on the outside i think if this door was just full resin from like here down it would not be nearly as durable as as it is resin has the tendency to like I don't know be a little bit flimsy maybe crack a little bit but these doors yeah they're full aluminum all of the buttons on it are real clicky real nice and clicky clicky fire button right there clicky up down buttons and you can see right there we're in power mode and you can adjust in 0.1 watt increments which to me is always kind of a bummer especially when I'm using a sub ohm tank I would love to be able to just adjust in one full watt increments unfortunately the geek vape Nova does not do that but it's the same interface from geek vape that we're kind of used to three clicks one two three Three will get you to the, you know, be able to change things. This is going to illuminate right there, and you can kind of click through through bypass mode. There's a curve mode in here for people that like curve mode. There are custom TCR settings, and you can set it for titanium, stainless steel, nickel, and then now we're back to power mode, and that's where I leave it because I'm a wattage vapor. If you click the fire button, it's going to bring you down here to the coil. You can lock in your resistance if you want to, but I don't know. I've never done that. Then if you click the fire button again, it's going to bring you down here to the puffs, which you can reset, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to leave it. And so now we're back to the main uh, firing menu. Real straightforward, simple interface. I'm not a guy that uses temperature control or custom TCRs or curve settings or anything like that. So the fact that this is just real simple wattage mode, not a lot of fiddling involved. I really like that. And then of course it has a USB on the bottom for possible future firmware updates. I would never, never charge through the USB on any mod if it has 1860 650s or 2700s or removable batteries in the inside. Take your batteries out, get a proper charge there. Charger, charge them on a proper charger. Charge there. And Geek Vape's actually pretty consistent with their resin panels. This is called the flare resin. So if you buy one that's the flare resin, it's not necessarily going to look exactly like this, but it's going to use all of the same colors involved. You know what I mean? So you're going to get some blues, some greens, some oranges, some darker greens in there as well. And they got kind of a whole mess of other ones. There's black ones and and blue ones and red ones and if you buy a red one you're gonna get like you know the same colors like I said not necessarily the same pattern exactly but you're gonna get the same color scheme you can kind of see that the resin on these doors is uh, it's a little bit textured there's some uh, there's some peaks and valleys in there it's kind of uh, real obvious especially when you kind of look at it from the side and kind of see those ridges and peaks and valleys kind of running all down it and it actually makes it real pleasant to touch it's a, it's a real pleasant texture to touch kind of overall gives the mod a real nice feel as far as size dimensions go it's 88 millimeters from top to bottom this way it's 55 millimeters from side to side this way and then it's 25 millimeters right here it kind of reminds me of the old like Segeli 150 100 watt devices it's a deck of cards you know what I mean 
There's nothing real super ergonomic about this, but it does feel nice in the hand, fits pretty well. It's not super, super comfortable, but it's fine. You can hold it in your hand and, and it's all good. And the kit also comes with a very serviceable sub -ohm tank, the Cerberus. These are mesh coil heads in here, and it does have a pretty smooth, adjustable AFC on the bottom. It doesn't really click into place, but it stops in the full open, stops in the full closed. It's glidey enough to feel real smooth, but it's firm enough so that if you wanted to leave it kind of like right there, maybe half open, it'll stay there. Like I said, mesh coil head on the inside, and it's a real simple sort of uh, just twist off the top. It's got that two tab system. There's tabs on the top and notches right here, two big kidney shaped juice fill holes. Real simple, real straightforward sub ohm tank. And this isn't the drip tip it comes with. It comes with a standard issue sort of uh, black drip tip on there. But yeah, there's not much to it. That's the Geek Vape Nova kit. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get back out to normal view, we're gonna vape this guy. The Cerberus tank is quite rocking. It is really good performance, really nice, smooth, swooshy airflow. It's one of the best, like, pack in sub ohm tanks that I've used. Sometimes these vape kits come with sub ohm tanks that are kind of just a little bit just a little bit pitiful, you know what I mean? Just not super high quality, but the Cerberus tank that kind of comes with this Nova kit, it's a real good tank. I think this tank is kind of good enough to just stand on its own. It gives me a real satisfying vape. It's real straightforward, real easy to fill. This particular mesh coil head only has like a single, you know, piece of mesh throughout the inside. It's not a dual or a triple or like a quad mesh coil head. So the flavor on it, while fine, I mean, I can definitely still taste my juice. It just doesn't have that like really sort of over the top flavor but it vapes, it vapes damn good. So a few pros and cons with this mod. Like I said earlier, I wish it was just a little bit weightier. I wish it was just a little bit more substantial. As it stands, it feels, because it's so light, it feels a little bit cheap. It doesn't feel very durable. It doesn't feel very rugged. I feel like if this was to survive a drop test, it would kind of end up like that basilisk mod from not too long ago where it just, hit the ground, the resin the resin cracked. I have a feeling this would suffer some sort of similar fate. Although I'm not gonna torture test it today on video. I do really like how like quick and responsive this mod is. It's, it's a snappy, snappy mod. It's a snappy, snappy chip on the inside. Whatever AS chipset they're using on the inside, it's real quick. It's instant power. It, it, there is zero, zero lag between when you press the button and when you get the power. It is, it is quick and responsive. The display on it is fine. It's not great. It's not a big, bright, you know, beautiful display, but it, it gets the job done. It's a little bit smaller, but it gets the job done. And like I said in the up close, I actually do really enjoy like the texture of this resin. It's just a, re a real unique feeling texture on here. Kind of feels like uh, like wood grain or something like that. It just adds a little bit of like nice like tactile feel to the mod itself. On an otherwise, I mean, mostly boring mod. If it didn't have these resin panels, it would just be like an anodized aluminum deck of cards. It's It's that type of mod. There's no ergonomics or anything to it. It's just, I mean, it's a deck of cards. Okay, so let's get down to brass tacks here. You're gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out this Geek Vape Nova kit. Ah, uh, maybe a little bit. Looking around the internet, I found it anywhere from like 60 to $70 for the full kit. So you're getting a mod and the Cerberus sub ohm tank, which is a very solid sub ohm tank. So maybe a little bit of vape budget hands are necessary, but I feel like you're getting a lot for your money. Now, if we we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape is the Geek Vape Nova kit something I would seek out and buy right away? Me, 
Personally, probably not, but that doesn't mean it's not a great kit. If you don't have like a dual 18650 like high performance box or you've never done like the big cloud chasing sub ohm tank clouds bro clouds type of vape, then I honestly don't see uh, how you could go wrong with a Geek Vape Nova kit. It's gonna give you everything you need right out of the box. It's a solid box mod. It's fairly comfortable in the hand. Most of all, it's real snap be real quick and responsive and like I said that Cerberus tank delivers a very solid vape if you are kind of brand new to the vape world and you're looking for a kit that's gonna give you plenty of power plenty of performance comes with a really good sub ohm tank and is overall pretty versatile I mean this is something that you can grow into you can do low wattage you can do high wattage if you want to do temperature control you can do that as well I think it's a real versatile kit uh, for the price honestly but anyway enough rambling from me that's what i got for today everybody thank you so much for watching and as always yeah geek vape nova let's keep on vaping and geek vape is actually pretty consistent in their like resin panner what panners panels